there are more people who were shot every weekend in Chicago than there are in schools in Texas. The governor of Texas today pointed to Chicago as he rejected new gun control measures. That triggered a quick response from top Democrats here. Our political editor Mike Flannery reports. The mayor first tweeted, Governor Abbott, I work day and night to stop the violence. Be a part of the solution or get the hell out of the way. But at a later news conference, she made no more mention of Abbott's views on guns, instead blaming him for last year's collapse of the Texas electrical grid and for, quote, a debacle at the Mexican border. So he's not really worth my time. Governor Pritzker fired four tweets at Abbott. You are lying about Chicago and what actually perpetuates gun violence. The majority of guns used in Chicago shootings come from states with lax gun laws. The Texas school gunman legally owned a military-style rifle, sales of which a West Suburban congressman wants to restrict. This young man had an AR-15 and a high-capacity magazine. Why, why do civilians need that weapon? As Senate Judiciary Committee Chair Dick Durbin moved today to fill the top job at the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, for the first time in seven years, Durbin urged him... But to help stop straw purchases combat gun trafficking, ensure that families can send their kids to school safely, and law enforcement officers can return home each day to their loving families. North Side Congressman Mike Quigley called for eliminating loopholes that allow some to buy firearms without undergoing the background check most face. Every day, universal background checks stop 170 felons and 50 domestic abusers from getting guns from licensed uh, gun dealers in this country. U.S. Senate Democrats said floor votes could come soon, requiring background checks on would-be gun buyers via the Internet and at gun shows, and giving the FBI more time to investigate those flagged as risky. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.